Hey guys, it's Lisa, um, the owner of Vintage Gypsy and one of the admins of the Silhouette Basics and Tutorials group. I've seen a lot of questions flying around the board about how would you be able to tell if you had something that was a commercial license, like whether it be a design or a font. Now, we're going to go into the Silhouette store and library and I'm going to show you how to mark those that they have a commercial license so you can search for them in your library. You're not going to be able to do that with any fonts that you've purchased on off sites. Um, typically, if you get it from like the Hungry JPEG or Font Bundles, somewhere like that, 99% of those come with a commercial license automatically, so you wouldn't have to worry about those. Now, if you have gone to defont.com and picked up any fonts there, 99.9% um, .9 of those are for personal use only. They are not allowed to be used in any design and sold. I know a lot of people do it, they get away with it, whatever. I'm just trying to advise you the correct way to do it. If you're going to use fonts or designs to make and sell things for your business, even if you're just doing it like out of your house and it's not official, you don't have a tax ID number, does not matter, um, you need to have the commercial license attached to it. So just remember that. I'm going to show you a way to um, add some keywords into your library so it's easier to find the next time. First thing you want to do is be in your software. Make sure you're logged into your library or signed in. Um, do not pay attention to my crappy file system that I tried 100 years ago. It does not work for me. I typically just do the search function. What I'm going to show you how to do is make it easier to find things um, as far as a search function. So since it is Halloween, I'm going to go into the search button or the search window and pick up Halloween. If I can spell it right. Most of my designs that I get, I purchase from the Silhouette store in here. Anything that you see in here, I've purchased from the Silhouette store because I do not save my custom designs to the library. So if I want to click on, let's just say, I'm trying to find a good one that we like, that'd be easy to do. Okay, so let's just pick the Wicked Witch. Now I got this from the Silhouette store so I'm going to go out and see if I actually have the commercial if there's an option to have a commercial license. Now for me 99% um, of the time I always buy the commercial license because I do sell a lot of my work. So I'm going to go to the store and if I type in let's type in Wicked Witch which is what the name of that design was and it'll take it a second to search so I can go through here and scroll down through and see if any of these I can use. See, my design's not here. It says Wicked Witch. Now, another way you can, instead of having to scroll through, you click on the filters on the left-hand side, you get a license type, you hit commercial, and then click off to the right, it's going to update it, and these are all the designs you can purchase with a commercial license. So let's see, do we see my Wicked Witch anywhere? There she is. And a lot of times, if you do it that way, then you can actually see what's up for a commercial license. You don't have the option to worry about the personal part. So if I click on her, see we have two different ones. And I don't know if you saw what had just popped up. It actually gave me the option to upgrade. So I may have purchased it as a personal, personal license, not able to sell, but it'll have a button here that says you can upgrade means I can buy the commercial license at that point in time. Okay, so we know that she's commercial. We know they have the option. I'm going to go back to my library and I'm going to left click, right click, show my properties. I can rename her at this point in time. This is just the artist's name that made her regular cut. So this is how you would be able to search things. So if I've searched for her, the keyword is book, costume, or Halloween. Now, I'm going to click my plus sign because I think which needs to be in here. Um, we could do fall. We could do um, Wizard of Oz because that's what she reminds me of. Um, we could also click on the plus sign and do Ruby Slippers. Click on my plus sign and this is where I can type in commercial. Okay, or you could do you know, CL, commercial license, whatever works for you, um, COM, do whatever works for you. And then you're going to hit save. 
Now, what that allows me to do is in this search area, I can start searching commercials. That's how it filters that what I have purchased a commercial license for. As you can see, I haven't done it to all of mine, but that's one way to go in and do that to keep track of those commercial licenses. You can also do it with the fonts that you have purchased through the Silhouette Store. 99% of the fonts are not um, commercial license. And most of them in the store are for personal use only. But if you did get one that way, you did the same way. Left click, right click, show your properties, name of the font, the artist, and this is where you type in your keywords. Commercial. I told you I always spell that word wrong, so. And hit save. So now if I go and type in commercial, see how it shows up? So that's one way to do it that way. Um, that's just kind of an FYI to kind of help you sort things a little bit better. Do not pay attention to my folders because they're awful. Usually what I do is I go into my designs and I will edit them and type them in Halloween, fall, Christmas, you know, whatever pertains to that design that I have. So like if I did my mermaid, like I've not done anything for her. So I need to make sure that I type in mermaid. And this is one of my custom designs I saved in here. Type in ocean. Beach, um, speech agency, and then the artist area. I'm going to put my name and my business. So if I went to go type in Lisa, see how my mermaid design shows up? These are not my designs. These came in because they're probably from um, another designer named Lisa. See, Lisa Norris. So hopefully that'll give you some tips on how to sort some of those things um, to make life a little easier to find your commercial license and also how to find the commercial license on the Silhouette Store. So um, if you guys have any questions, you can holler at me on Facebook. You can uh, get a hold of Kyland. If you guys do post questions or whatever on our board and you don't get a response, please don't hesitate to tag one of us so we can come in and answer you. Have a good night. Thanks.